get money. I I get money. I I get I get I get I get I mm. <laughs> <laughs> Might be copyright right there. I love the fact that we always go to New York Rick. He's always in the same spot, always wearing a black shirt. And I feel like we, it's just like we get beamed into his life for 20 minutes. <laughs> where, and then he goes where back Where else to would it. I be? And what else yeah. would I be wearing? I mean, this is it. Well, it's always. I mean, maybe maybe I'd be wearing this. What is that? Oh, oh. wow. That is big. <laughs> I'm not going to wear it. I'm not going to wear it. But I yeah, am going to going to give a shout out to Ray and Momo who who gifted oh. that to me. Oh, yeah, wow. Legends. Shout out to Ray and Momo. By the way, uh, I'd love to see the backdrop. Like what's going on behind you? I yeah. think there's a reason it's blurry. No. What do you mean? It's just it's just like a <laughs> opened up age. couch. Oh, okay. Nothing. There's, some no, there's, that there's, there's literally nothing interesting going on behind me. How many black shirts always. do you own? There's a closet. Can you take us to the closet? In the ri- in the range of, I mean, no, because my cam is like secured on top of the thing, but in the range of 30, 35. All the Seriously. same brand, all the same size? Uh, Not all the same brand. Like they're all, they're all some variation of like Hanes. Um, but some are like climb a cool this or that or some you know what some I mean like faded, there's, there's some kind of, of differences. You've got yeah, your some are older, some are newer. Your dress up, um, your work. What? Um, no, there's there's no circumstances where the black t-shirt isn't what like detergent. It, it's not based on that. Uh, to keep them downy. I, I don't know. That's that's more whatever is available. The wife buys that. Oh, right. Is there um, is there any part of you that just you know like sometimes you want to spruce it up a little color a splash no. of this? Nope. It's I have eliminated decision making uh, from that equation every single morning. It's great, saves me time. Not not oh. interested. Wow. I think Michael wow. Crichton did the what same is that, thing. Steve Jobs or something that does it. Yeah, yeah. And, and by the way, you weren't smart. Al- people do it. You weren't always a black shirt guy. No, I used to mix it up all the time. When did that? Wasted too much time. When did not, it change? Not. Wow, you really deliberated over your outfits. <laughs> a few years ago. Yeah. Right. Is it a pandemic thing? No, I mean, you know, it's not even the deliberation as much as now you have to have, you know, all these things in your closet that you're never going to wear and you're picking this and you're shuffling through this. It's it's streamlined, simple. There, bin of black shirts, grab it, go, done. Oh, you don't Every even day. hang them. You keep them in a bin? Yeah, no, I mean, they're not. Yeah, what am I going <laughs> to hang them for? You hang your t-shirts? t-shirts. <laughs> okay, you hang t-shirts? Hey, you want on my nicer t-shirts, t-shirts, t-shirts I hang. Yeah. I hang you t-shirts. hang? What? I mean, if it's wrinkly, t-shirts. just steam it or something. I fold my t-shirts. It depends yeah, fold on them the, and put them on a depends shelf. Depends on the level of quality of the t-shirt. Wow. Do you dry yeah, clean your t-shirts? It, no, I don't dry clean anything. I'm not I drink, on that this, level dry yet. clean all my stuff. This yes. intricacy in this conversation is exactly what I'm able to avoid and not waste time with. That's a good point. Oh, wow. So, you, wait, no, no. You're like freeing up your schedule for this kind of talk. If I, no. No. I wish we could real, talk about quick. literally anything else at this moment, actually. When you guys put your socks on in the morning, do you ever just zone out for a little bit? Is that just a me thing? <laughs> what do you do? You just like, I just like you fall over and take a nap? A few moments later, I'm like, wait, why haven't I put on my left sock? Like, I'm already thinking about Oh, like about you'll the put day. one on and then sit there. Just sit and there just and... Because it's in the morning. I know you're all laughing in here because you are suffering from no, the same there's... thing. Yeah. What's meet after is... work tonight? We wow. We'll talk about it. Frank, there's... do we have to have an intervention for you? Is <laughs> something going on? What, it literally what happened is... to me earlier this week where I was like, damn, that was a long time I wasted putting the socks you on. You put on your sock and then you zone out yep. before putting on the second one. Just start one. thinking this about what I need to do often? for the day. And... Frank is 100% the kind of guy who takes a shower and puts his socks on first. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Before he gets in the shower? No, no, no. <laughs> gets out of the shower. Oh, the very first <laughs> yes. thing. The very first thing? <laughs> You're 100% that guy. Admit it. Admit yeah, it, Frank. Not there cannot be anyone out there that does that. Oh, yeah. Serial killers like Frank. <laughs> what the very <laughs> first thing is the socks. <laughs> I'm going to yeah. try it just to see if it feels uh, It's putting a brutal image in my head. It's hilarious. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Comes down for breakfast. Tracy's there baking breakfast, just socks, no. nothing else. He puts he puts the one sock on, <laughs> one sock, zones out, still and then zones the other yeah, sock. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's Great. just standing naked in the in the bathroom, putting on his uh, second sock. So um, all right. the picks. By the way, I'm so happy Ash didn't show up so that we can uh, have this conversation. <laughs> yeah. This is way better. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, all Fightful, right. Great, great documentary. Fightful is tremendous. Recommend. Yeah, Please. right. By the yeah, way, back to fight build. You guys, you guys should watch that over the uh, perhaps long weekend. By the way, are we are we doing a thing now? Jeez, are, are we growing the beard a little bit and letting? What's happening? Or Listen, did you man, just get I can't lazy? Keep up. It's a show. <laughs> I can't keep up. I, I shave like two, three times a week. I know. Uh, yeah, last time I shaved was Sunday morning. 
Little it's, five o'clock shadow. And and did I ask you this already? When it's over, do you start fresh or because I think it'd be kind of cool to let the beard grow and then try to catch up to the mustache. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, that's yeah. Sick. On, that's sick. Starting on like December first, we'll let the beard catch back up. That's sick. Uh, November thirty first. What'd you say? No, I think I said December, said December 1st. 1st. Oh, okay. I thought you said November 31st. Yeah, you're um, always pushing that November 31st uh, <laughs> narrative. Somebody check on Ariel. Is uh, it out of there? That's it his is favorite thing to do. It is yeah, I'll do out. that on November 31st. All right, guys. How we feel? We're going to get back on track. Lot to choose from. Feel good. You said it. now, nah, man. All right. Let's go. All right. Let's randomize this order here. Uh, let's randomize this order here. There we go. Machine's running slow today. Ariel, you get the honors. Oh, yeah. Ariel followed by Frank, followed by Rick, and I will bring up the caboose. Okay. Perfect. I'm cool with this. Uh, let me pull up. Uh, by the way, can I uh, can I go with uh, Invicta FC50? I mean, big show for them. 50th anniversary show. Not anniversary. Well, is it a 50th anniversary? No. I don't, as I don't think the as odds are going to be out. Yeah, I see hey, some. As excited as I am for Invicta, they are you not going to be on DraftKings Sportsbook. So, uh, Talita Bernardo? No. Uh, all right. Um, I'm going to see Bellator 288. All right. Not even one. Huh? Still no respect for one. It's not on DraftKings right now, unfortunately. This is crazy right now. Though they did release odds. Christian Lee, slight favor. Oh, just one fight? No, that's no, not on DraftKings. Odds, odds oh, in general. No, other. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Uh, we're looking at a couple here. Just let me make sure. I mean, again, we said, let's just go with the easy win. Let's just keep it simple, stupid, right? Like, we're just not I trying to reinvent I love it. Yeah. Um, I want it to be negative this week. I want it to be a uh, minus money, four leg part. Can I break the fourth <laughs> wall for a moment? Wait. Uh, what fourth? Okay. B- before the show, uh, Eric, I think you were on the thread. Uh, GC actually sent us four picks, like basically <laughs> saying, "Can you guys just go in this direction so you don't f this up?" See, how did you feel? The problem about with that? This, and you guys <laughs> now that you have to follow him. I said, "Here's a couple now picks." That, yeah, but this is the first now time you've done this, by the way. You've never done this. Now that you feel that, if we go with it, now it's all on GC, so the the pressure is off and oh. it, and it all falls on his shoulders. Yeah. Well, actually, one of the picks was Frank's. <laughs> The two of us talked about our picks, and then we were like... Yeah, it was weird. It was like, hey, guys, we've thought about this. We've talked about it. Let's just go in this direction, because it's all... And so I will go in that direction. One of the picks on the uh, the list that you gave us was Mr. Nurmagomedov, Usman Nurmagomedov, going for the uh, Bellator lightweight title against Patricky Pitbull. I'll say the it's Nurmagomedovs get another belt around their waist on Friday, what which will be pick, nice for man. me. Nice for me, you know? Pressure's off come Friday night. Yeah. yeah. And by the way, one right. done. you were going to pick that anyway. I said, I said, I was looking at that one. I was looking at that one. I was looking at Jack Della as well. Um, yep. The reason I went with Usman is so that, you know, all the crazy dominance fanboys can be like, ah, he hates dominance MMA fighters. Oh, wait, he picked them. He picked them to get off the schneid. That's how much yeah, I that, love dominance MMA. That's, that's for sure going to happen. They're you all going to really pay attention to that and give I you a lot of credit for it. 100%. I think, I think they will. Yep. All right, there's my pick, Usman Nurmagomedov. That nice means pick. I'm next. Oh, and by the way, uh, just for the record, for anyone, sorry, I don't mean to uh, jump in. Uh, he's a minus 600. Patricky is a plus 450. Let's so. go. Let's go. Uh, he's now minus 645. Oh, there you go. All right. Oh, wow. Even because better. of my pick. So, my pick. Maya. <laughs> this is great. Or Rose, over one and a half. Maya Moroz? Mm. Who's that? I'm not familiar with Maya Moroz. Jenna for Maya versus... Oh, Maria got it, got Moroz it. Over one and a half. Oh, we're doing the over one and a half stuff? Yeah, I mean, they... Didn't GC say... That, that one feels pretty good, I'll be honest. All right. That one feels pretty good. Frank presented it to me, and I... Started to make a face, and I was like, yeah, over one and I, a half. I didn't start to make a face. I was very nervous. How do you feel about it? What is it currently yeah, at? It was fun. at minus 700 earlier. It's still minus 700. Nice. I mean, this is a... This is a chalk soup we're making here. I love it. Take out a second mortgage for this one. All right. That brings us to Rick. Ariel already. Easy one. Jack Della, the man. Been very impressed with his UFC runs so far. Easy pick. That it was going to be, but for for my two top ones, it was going to be between Usman and and Jack Della. What's his nickname again? He has a great nickname, and now I'm forgetting it. It's like, uh, you guys know it. 
Jack. I don't because I've only referred to him as Jack Della Madalena. No, he, he's been on the show. JDM. Hey, he talked about it. Yeah, he did. I, and now I forget what it was. It's like something, uh, it's something Italian. Don't have it. All right. I'm looking Fine. It up. Let's see if we can find it. It's not as good as Moicano. Yeah, I don't see it. No, it's not even on uh, Tapology. That was a that was a hell yeah. exclusive. But yeah, I mean the guys look sensational in the UFC. Sensational against a guy in Danny Roberts that was picked apart. Look, Danny's a Francis good fighter, Scorch but he's he's hit or time. miss. Yeah, he's he's hit or miss. But Jack Della, I, I believe. All right, you let's tell me before the show that you were really excited about Jack. I've been excited this. about Jack. Love that guy. All right, so uh, and he is. Minus five twenty. Minus five. Minus five hundred? Yeah, minus five hundred and twenty. Oh, five five hundred and twenty, okay. I thought you would say minus five twenty. Um Yeah, minus five twenty. You said five hundred you said five hundred and twenty. Yeah, I said five twenty. You said first. what? Yeah, it was, I said five twenty, and then you said what? And I said minus five hundred and twenty. Yeah, it's just weird. Uh, all somebody, right. somebody help you us, want to drop please. The end? Somebody get in you there and help. I thought the end was weird. Happening. I thought the end was weird. Okay. Well, the end oh. would normally mean a decimal point, right? So five. Oh no, I'm point. a strong end. Yes. Oh really? Yes, he's minus. Just, he's minus five incorrect? a little bit, but we well. still knew what you meant, except for. You know. Oh, thank you to the YouTube chat, Don Giacomo. That's his name. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but uh, now, wasn't that kind of... Ge- I feel like... Who was it? Somebody said they call him that. It's, there's something, but I like it. Don Giacomo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nickname. It's good. It's I'm good. not going to lie. I'm going to be so... Uh, I'm going to be very exposed on uh, on Jack Della this weekend. I want to say... I, I don't know if it was engaged, but someone made a sick shirt for him. Uh, you bought it? Don't do it. No, but if he wins, I might have to. Oh, God. Yeah, that that should be the thing. Buy the T-shirt after they win. Maybe that's the that's perfect way to that. reverse the curse. Yeah, buy the I mean, shirt. No, no one talks when I wear the Bills jersey every week and they win, and then I forget to do it two weeks in a row, and they're on a two-game losing streak. Oh, you didn't tell you me didn't this. Tell us. Yeah, you didn't tell us that. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, I accidentally left the jersey. You wear that here. jersey this weekend. Oh, you left it. This is now the reason. Uh, Two, two games in a row they've lost when I didn't wear the jersey. If they win this weekend, when I redon the jersey, now we know what's up. By the way, I can live in a world where the t-shirt curse affects everyone else except for the Bills. Or the t-shirt curse is real and I'm a jersey blessing. Ah. All right, let's round this thing out. Yeah. Got to get to it. Main event, Derek Lewis, Sergey Spivak, five rounds. Don't think it's going to take that long. I will take. The fight does not go to a decision. Minus 650, that rounds us out. This is the one, boys. We are cursed if we can't get back on track with this one. Four-leg parlay pays out. Minus 123. Nice. I feel confident, but I felt confident (laughs) every single week. I want to find that clip where Eric was like, if you're doing a parlay that's a negative number, (laughs) you're doing something wrong. Yeah. This this one is the well, this one is the one. We've been doing something wrong right. for so the last. Now minute. we're just gonna try. <laughs> so it's time to switch it up. All right. Is this our first one? At yes, minus? Very much first so. minus money. Be, yeah. I'm, I'm sure people on Twitter are gonna be very understanding. I could not I'm, give two fucks. I'm sure they're gonna love it. Uh, Let me tell you something. If we can get off the Schneid with a minus parlay, <laughs> then there's something wrong. I think this is the one. And by the way, this card, it starts at like 1 p.m., right? Yeah, it's great. What's going on Saturday uh, Saturday night? There's, is it um, college football or something? There's uh, something that has to be going on for them to do it like this. Got to get home for Thanksgiving. Oh, I guess that's, that's the one. Maybe they're just like in, in anticipation of the World Cup, you know, shut everything down. Yeah, I doubt that. As one does. Prelims at uh, yeah. uh, prelims at one, main card at uh, four, so it'll be done by seven. By the way, who just opened up a can? That would be of what uh, bass. That's Frank. What are you blaming that was, me for? Frank? That was a loud can. Oh, another one. <laughs> Look, I have a problem. Um, all right. So you guys feel good? I feel great. Oh, as good as one can. Okay. By the way, uh, before we let you go, New York Rick, uh, do you wanna, you know, defend your your point, your anti World Cup stance? Yeah, what's there to defend? Oh, oh anti World Cup. I mean, I'm not anti World Cup. The point has always been. It's harder for to get people to gather uh, culturally around events because of... Does it uh, feel like the World Cup might be the one outlier? No, I mean, 
to an extent, right? Super Bowl, World Cup, there's certain things that people come together for. But like, if you look at the US broadcast numbers from 2010 versus 2014 versus 2018, the number's going down. Like, it's just as this happens, TV Although, people don't gather around the TV anymore. That's not how it works. Now, are you saying for World Cup or for everything? 2010. World Cup. Worth noting, 2018, US didn't make it. Yeah. And so no, I'm disaster. talking about the final. I'm talking about the final only. Oh, right. Um, but either way, yeah, I mean, there's going to be tons of people streaming it. There's going to be tons of people watching it, but there's no, the gone are the days of everybody sitting around the TV watching these things. It just, do, it doesn't exist anymore. There's just too much stuff out there. There's more people with phones that can stream stuff though. So, it, you know, it balances out, but yeah, right. there's no cultural stuff like that where the whole world is gripped anymore. It just, does, it just doesn't happen, but this is as close as it gets. This is, this is a big event, uh, worth, you know, canceling plans for what maybe, plans maybe not. i'm not canceling nothing canceling all you know yeah, it's just, just altering shifting mm -hmm. my country is going to be competing for the first time in 36 freaking years you want me to be sitting here talking about don Fantastic. giacomo come on yeah right. no <laughs> don giacomo yeah. slander all right uh will you be watching I'll, watch, I'll check into it. Yeah. We'll check I mean, in. I'll, look, check into New York Rick's going to have his face is, painted if they uh, advance past is, the, uh, the group stage. Couldn't care. No, definitely not. I mean, you you know how passive I am on these uh, Bills and, and Nottingham uh, text threads. <laughs> yeah. Not, not, not into it. By the way, I, 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 I appreciate you're not into it rather than one of the members of the uh oh yeah i'm not pretending against us true, yeah true, true, true. yeah i'm not i'm not i'm not a, a turncoat and i'm not pretending to be i can't believe this uh, is on the, the new team <laughs> this isn't it's not really new it's just we're finally oh, talking i wouldn't about call it a narrative. we actually have another text thread where we talk about this and it's, yeah <laughs> i'm not surprised <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you very much let's get uh, gc's picks yeah let's do it uh i'll run through them quickly oh take uh, your time we got a lot of time oh we do yeah i mean now year yeah, year's coming in fourteen minutes. Oh, okay. Then yeah, let's let's kick our feet up and talk Bellator Chicago. Then, let's do it. We? Uh first one up. I'm gonna take Jordan Newman by KO TKO minus one ten. I mean, if you just look at the guy that he's fighting, uh no disrespect to Jaden Talker, but I, I just think that Jordan Newman is a level above uh D three national champion in wrestling, D three wrestler of the year in twenty eighteen. Talker two and two. He's he's been finished in both of his losses. His wins are against guys that are under 500. I mean, he's he's given a go at boxing. He's 0 4 there. He's given a go at grappling. He's 0 2 there. Uh, it feels as if Jordan Newman is a prospect that Bellator is trying to push along, and this is sort of a setup fight for him to to display his skills. Uh, next up, we've got Roman Feraldo by KOTK. I'm not as confident in this one, uh, but Roman Feraldo is 8-0 with every single win coming by knockout. It's the man that Dustin Poirier mentioned uh, during his interview. He has crazy knockout power. He's the original owner of the War Hat. This is a step up in competition against LeVon Chukeli. Uh, but, I mean, the way that this dude can knock people out, I mean, he has hammers for hands, and you're still getting his knockout profit plus money, uh, which I feel like is his most likely path to victory. I will throw a half unit on it. Give us a little a little entertainment. That uh, flat top, though, man. It's awesome. Listen, man, I don't have as good of access to Bellator photos as I do the UFC. That's so, not uh, his actual haircut? Like, you had to cut it? As well? No. Yeah. Yes, I had to cut oh. it. That's a, It's a very dark background. You should against. consider doing a flat top. I appreciate it, Frank. I appreciate it, man. I'll hit you up next time for, uh, for Bellator pictures. Uh, let's get to the UFC, though. Let's kick it off. Flyweight under. Not much more needs to be said. We are right back on the horse after taking a uh, you know a few days off. Even though these guys go to much more decisions than not. Charles Johnson, six of his last seven wins are by finish. Zlagas did get a finish recently in the UFC. He has also been finished in the UFC. Plus two hundred. I'm willing to take a shot. I'm not going to die on on my flyweight unders. We go from a flyweight under to a heavyweight over. Chase Sherman, Waldo Cortez Acosta, over one and a half. This one I actually do have, uh, you know, some statistical value to back it up. Uh, if you look at Sherman's record, nine of his 13 fights in the UFC have gone over the one and a half. Cortez Acosta, four of his eight pro fights have gone over the one and a half. And I think he's going to extend fights now that he's in the UFC. I mean, last time out, wasn't so easy to uh, finish Jared Vandera. Boxed his face off, but wasn't able to get him out there. I think we can get to the over seven... Uh, seven and a half minutes it's gonna be sketchy though 
because these dudes are most likely going to stand and trade the entire time in their heavyweight, so anything could happen, uh, but it should be fun, and hopefully we do get to that point. Next up, Andre Fialo, Muslim Salikov. I'm going to take this one to not go to a decision. Both time out, both these dudes got knocked out. Maybe they are going to be a little cautious, but just watching Andre Fialo fight, this is going to be his fifth time fighting in the UFC this year. I mean, he comes to swang and bang, as Derek Lewis once said. Uh, I mean, he makes fights exciting. Only one has gone to a decision. If you look at both these dudes, 21 pro fights for the both of them. 17 have not gone to a decision. You're giving me minus 155 on that. I'm going to hope that uh, that someone gets put out, and I think someone does. So minus 155 there. Last but not least, I have no straight money line plays. Uh, that is one of the first time ever. I do. Re- I really do not like this card from a betting standpoint. Um, but last but not least, Derek Lewis. KO, TKO, plus 230. I mean, I, I thought the number would be similar for Derek Lewis and Derek Lewis by KO, uh, but you're getting a pretty big odds boost taken by KO. So, Sergey Spivak, he's probably, you know, in the better shape, you know, as of late as a fighter, you know, coming off these wins. We've seen Derek Lewis struggle of late, but the thing is, Sergey Spivak, he can finish people, but the way that he finishes people is taking them down, submitting them, or ground and pounding them. He has no knockout wins by, you know, like, just flat out killing someone. So I'm going to hope that Derek Lewis is not afraid to go in and trade with this guy. And he just bum rushes him and finds the kill shot. I mean, he's, he's always live for a finish uh, until he retires. So plus two thirty, with that being pretty much his only path to victory. I'll take one last ride with Derek Lewis and see what we can get out of it. I really hope that he does not go out sad on Saturday. I hope it doesn't look like his last couple of fights. I like the pick. I, th- I think he turns back the clock. Oh, I would love to see it. I would love to see it. Uh, two quick parlays for you. One has a lot that we have in our own. It's uh, one that I I do feel pretty good about. Uzman Nurmagomedov, Jack Della Maddalena, and Louis Spivak under four and a half. That pays at minus 137. I am, you know, loading up a decent amount of units on it, bigger than my normal bet, three and a half. Uh, but I feel all these have very strong chances of hitting. So I'll ride with that. And then, of course, I mean, we got to do it, Ariel. A little Bellator oh, yeah. chalky mess oh, that's just God. like that I talk myself into. I talk myself. I'm like, there's no way this thing loses. I mean, these are just setup matches. There's just no way. And then every time Bellator bites me in the ass, I mean, I can as confident as I can, as I am, I'm just as confident that someone is going to screw the pooch for me on this. But <laughs> if we just if we just go fighter by fighter, Jordan Newman, I already mentioned him, four and D three wrestler of the year in 2018, Beast, the man he's fighting, Jaden Talker. I mean, he got KO'd by. Two and four, Raven Baxter. A few times out, he's zero and four as a boxer. He's zero and two in grappling. I just think this is a setup match for Jordan Numi. Archie Colgan, five and zero, D one wrestler at Wyoming, has fought some great competition. LFA, Eagle FC, Bellator. And the man he's fighting, Jesse Annam, big rig. Two and one, his two wins have come against zero and three Casey Gallette and one and forty three, Kenneth Allen. Lucas Brennan, Skywalker, he just has the grappling advantage. I mean, the man that he's fighting against got submitted by a body triangle. There was nothing locked in. I just don't know how he's going to deal with the uh, with the jiu-jitsu of Lucas Brennan. And then uh, Aliv, he's a Khabib product. I just think that Bellator is trying to push along these these people from, uh, you know, Khabib's camp. I think he's going to get it done here against Sean Connor Fallon. And then last but not least, Usman Nurmagomedov. Pays out plus 127. We'll, we'll see what happens. We alluded to it earlier as well, the World Cup picks, but just to get an eye on it, Argentina, plus 550. Oh, yeah. France, plus 750. Did I Denmark, steal your thunder with this? I didn't even know you were doing plus this. Plus 3,400. Uh, no. No, you didn't steal any thunder. I don't advise anyone telling this. And then, you know, to qualify from the group stage parlay, United States, Denmark, Senegal, and then United States, Denmark, Senegal, and Switzerland. Mm. You didn't need not even no Canada. No nope. sprinkle. Nope. Oh yeah. I forgot to I forgot to show people. I mean, I'm gonna have to start rocking this during the World Cup. Like, should I, should I take it down there? I mean, oh, yeah, don't take that's, down the fourth wall. That is uh because that's a Danish it is jersey. A Danish. Is it official? Jersey. I gotta get the I gotta get the Velcro off. Is it official? It's what official? I mean, is it like a knockoff red bubble one or is it no, like a real deal <laughs> holy field? This is <laughs> This is real. Christian Eriksen sent it to me. Well, let's see. Um, I mean, yeah, let's right. Christian Eriksen sent it to you a little Let's bit. just show the back. My man, let's... Christian Eriksen. We'll get the we'll get the Velcro off, and I'll start rocking it proper during the World Cup. But we got Eriksen that's your squad. Your your, what 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 if it's Denmark versus U.S.? Who are you rolling with? I mean, the U.S. I don't know. 
It's your guy. You seem to love him. I think he loves me. We both look so similar. I mean, how could he not? I'm trying. Oh, here it is. Uh, I'm trying to see when they're playing. When they're. Uh, oh, wow. That's good stuff. Yeah. That's, oh, Denmark, Tunisia on uh, Tuesday, November 22nd. Yeah, you could have just asked. I would have told you. Oh, you would, you knew that? Sorry, my bad. Sorry. Yeah. Wow, what a day. What a day. Argentina, France. Oh, I just can't wait. I can't wait, dude. I can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait for that Belgium-Canada tilt next Wednesday at 2 p.m. It's going to be a good one. You nervous? Very nervous, yeah. A tough way to start with Belgium, you know. Would have been nice Romain to ease Lukaku. into it with maybe a little... Uh, well, look at you. Um, Reina. Wow. Look at you. <laughs> I mean, this is a tough match. KDB? What do you know about KDB? Oh, man. Come on. Oh, man. Should, uh, yeah, should be a good one. There we go. I mean, now we're really starting to come together. I guess I could have done this sure. beforehand. No, it's okay. Uh, but, yeah. Frank, where's your, where's your family from again? Honduras. Honduras. Are they in the World Cup? They didn't make it this time. Yikes. You know, they made it more than Canada ever has, but... We're a uh, what have you done for me lately kind of squad over here, okay? Great. There we go. There it is. Look at that crest. I mean, can we talk about it? Yeah, it's a nice okay. crest. That look. What does it say? Danska pol pol spill something onion. onion? Yeah. I mean, looks like onion. Humel. Never heard of Humel as a uh, sponsor before. Right? Yeah, I'll be wearing this pretty often uh, over the next few weeks. Ordered a uh, sweater for Team USA. I already got my French jersey. I'm surprised that you didn't put up the new Kai Car France picture. Yes. Let's give him a shout out. Well, you grab your thing because right. I got to grab mine. I got this thing here. How about this? Isn't this incredible? We didn't rehearse this. No, we didn't rehearse it. Not everything can be rehearsed, Frank, okay? We're, we're very spur of the moment. Can we go to this shot? Yeah, let's go to this shot right here. Look at this. This is a Dan Hooker. Skateboard? That's sick. Yeah, that's signed by Dan Hooker. Who sent us this? Our man Fight Bro Customs. Fight Bro like... Customs. I, I wouldn't sure recommend that right. riding on that though. There's no wheels. Anaru from Fight Bro Customs. I mean, this thing is unbelievable. It's signed by Hooker. Real signature right here. Dan Hangman Hooker. And it's absolutely beautiful. I mean I mean it's beautiful and it's signed, yes. Anaru Kamri from Fight Bro Cross Thumbs. Uh, I mean, he also sent us a signed Dan Hooker picture, or I mean, a card, and a signed Kai Kara France picture. I mean, this guy, like, legend. talk about menches. You talk about legends. I mean, look at this. This is unbelievable. Yes, I need to, after the show, I'm going to replace my my old Kai Kara France picture with this new one. I'm also, with the, the flag, the red yeah, black yeah, yeah. flag, it's absolutely mm -hmm. tremendous. I mean, I can't think and of Is that enough. a signed card or just a card? No, it's signed by Dan Hooker. Wow. Yeah, it's kind of... Who are these nice people that are just sending there us gifts? Is. You can see that. You can see the gold signature. Why do they do that? I don't know. They're just incredibly nice people. And I, I you know, I was like, please, let me pay you for this. When you were doing a game night, were, were people sending you things? Oh, of course. Come yeah. on. They were sending you, like, corn from Iowa and stuff like that? No, yeah. We had a few, uh, you know, Aussie listeners. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's incredible. And does he have a website or something? Can we plug something for the guy? Uh, I mean, Fight Bro Customs on on Instagram. Fight, Fight Bro, Bro Customs. Bro. Yeah, Fight Bro Customs. And then FightBroCustoms.com. I mean, all of his stuff is amazing. Like, he, It looks like he makes a lot of like autographed, custom-designed things. Like, He has a city kickboxing shirt that has everyone on it with like Eugene, Izzy, Dan, Volk, uh, Brad Riddell, Blood Diamond, Olberg. Like, this guy... It's it's almost like he makes merch for, like city kickboxing stuff. Oh really? I wonder if he's an official designer or whatever you say. License. I don't know, but it's incredible. Fight Bro Customs, Anaru Kamri. I mean, uh, absolutely. And, and by the way, sent that from New Zealand. Sent it from New Zealand. It that was not, uh, that probably costs like a couple hundred. I was gonna say it was not cheap to ship it. The the price was on it, and oh. I had forgotten about it. He told me about it like a few weeks ago. I had forgotten about it. And when it showed up, I was so hyped to open it up. I mean, blown away, to say the least. Well, thank you to him. Appreciate it very much. Uh, that's a very kind gift. In a matter of moments, we're going to be joined by Yair Rodriguez. Uh, by the way, did you see the uh, the Dana White power slap press conference? Yeah, yeah. I can't wait for that. What is going on? 
They're on TBS. Yeah, that's big. You think the, we're going to get lines on it? No way. I think it's already been taped. Uh, they taped it uh, several months ago at the Apex. Yes. More Apex. The rest of the world is going to see the brilliance of the magic, the, 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 the pageantry of the Apex. Okay, so every time we, we kind of talk bad on the Apex, there's yeah. someone that comes out of the woodwork and is just like... I like I, it. Well, I understand it's bad on TV, but going to it is like the uh, most magical experience ever. I don't buy that first. I think I have to go. I think it's a bucket list thing now. By the way, you can go. I know. But those tickets are insane. It's like $2,000 or something like that. You can go. Uh, I don't buy that for one second. Yeah, cool. It's great to be at a fight where you're that close and you can hear the punches, the kicks, you can hear the corner. What are we going to do? Compare that to a sold out MSG compare yeah, wait, that to really $2,000 oh it's insane yeah oh, if, well I'd rather have $2,000 seats at a pay-per-view then a thousand percent it's not even close yeah no no I, I what I love are the fans who are like oh you're crazy I feel like I can appreciate it so much more I feel like I get a greater sense of the kicks the punches the impact bullshit you couldn't get that sense when you were watching Poirier and Chandler on uh, Saturday? Come on. Stop it with this. It's it's soulless. It's void of any sort of emotion, theater, hoopla, buzz, energy. It has none of that. None of that. It's, 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 it's the equivalent of watching ESPN2 kickboxing from 1993 at 1 in the morning. <laughs> You have no connection to these people, no interest in these people. There's at least stakes, and it There's is no UFC. stakes. It ruins I all I bet this on stuff. it. Well, maybe not. 